Lots of good choices today, as always. My name is Greg Goshorn. I am with Mapping Your Marketing. We we show people and and uh, help people with doing the most important things online, like SEO and traffic and funnels and more. Video, super important. That's what I teach here in Tech Corner. You are in for a treat today as we continue our video challenge, and it's part of a multi-part series. And we have Lucky today. We have Anna Spooner in our room today. I'm going to let her tell you a little bit more about what's going on. All right. Well, today we are going to continue the ladder of persuasion. I will review the first two rungs and then go on to the last two, which are the most persuasive outcomes and transformation. So if you want to find out a framework that will allow you to not only make great marketing videos, but also improve all of your marketing and how well you can connect with your consumer, you want to be in Greg's room today. Perfect. Thank you. Appreciate that, guys. I like the tag team effort here. Hey, thanks for sharing your video to the group. Uh, Catherine. Uh, well, thanks for accepting it, you know, and and I didn't get my video done for this group for the first 30 seconds, but I will finish it up and get one for the end of it. Oh, good, good. And it's going to help with the building process. I noticed you you shared the champions, which is awesome. Did you also post it in the public one with the right uh, hashtags too? No, I didn't, okay. I didn't. I didn't get that, but I can. I suggest that that you share it, like on your main profile, unless okay. you shared it just to get some feedback. If you did that, good to go. Okay. <laughs> you just take that same video, and, and share. Make sure you get those uh, those right hashtags um, to follow the process one and to qualify for the drawing. That's a hundred dollar prize. Clay's going to draw for on um, the fourth, like this weekend. So. How funny that! I know, huh? Okay, so where do I find the link to find the proper hashtags? <laughs> there is, uh, I think, a, a post already in that same. Uh, so we have a business tech corner LinkedIn group, y'all, that we're talking about, and so we share our videos there. We share all kinds of messaging there, and um, I will put it in there. I'll, I will also find those rules and and post them. I'll probably send them to you in private message. Anne is teaching today's lesson. Okay. And welcome to the new people. Thanks for coming to the good room. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to, she's going to give us a little follow up on what we did and then dig into our ongoing challenge. So without further ado, I'll let Anna drive this. All right. Well, thanks everybody. I'm glad you're here. Um, so we're going to talk about the rest of the ladder of persuasion. So there are four rungs on the ladder. The lowest rungs are least persuasive, but still an important part of your marketing. The higher rungs are the most persuasive. So the lower rungs we went over last time. The first one is features, which is what do you actually offer? This includes, you know, video classes and workbooks and um, meetings with you and things like that. Those are the features. The benefits then is the second rung, which is you know, why those features matter to the customer. What are they going to get from those features? And so, for instance, a meeting with you might um, have the benefit of giving them clarity on some things or helping them understand a better framework or helping them with their mindset, things like that, right? Or a workbook might give them a chance to put pencil to paper so they retain the new concepts easier. These are benefits. So most companies understand features and benefits, and that's where they stop. So what you can do to supercharge your marketing is to keep going and to include these last two rungs, which are even more persuasive than features and benefits. So the uh, uh, third rung is outcomes. So it's basically what outcome does someone experience because of the benefit they have in their life? OK, now, since we're talking about video, I'm just going to go ahead and use the example of a small business owner having a promo video. OK, so what they might get if you're creating a promo video for them, they might get uh, the feature or yeah, the features would be a 90 second video. It would have certain graphics, certain text. OK, the benefit of that would be that they could use it to expand their marketing and they could share it on multiple platforms and it would be easy to use. 
So those are features and benefits. Well, what are the outcomes of having a video like that? Well, when you share your marketing widely and you have a persuasive video, some of the outcomes are that your sales pipeline fills up better, that you have a better brand reach, that people recognize who you are, that there's better engagement um, with your marketing. Um, so those are some of the outcomes. So basically, what happens when those benefits come into your customer's life? <clears throat> what are the outcomes of that? Are there any questions on that part? Yeah. No? Okay. I like this because it just is really a stair step. And I did mine, so my features and my benefits. And even in my video, I explained it. Like, here's, here's what you get, and here's why you care. Mm -hmm. and, and then here's actually why it, what, what happens, like, right? And then the transformation is, is the great um, summary of like where you started to where you ended. Mm -hmm. So as Greg alluded to, the transformation is the most persuasive part of your marketing. The transformation is <clears throat> who, do you, who does the customer become because they've experienced these benefits and outcomes. So for instance, if you have this promo video example, they get this video with these graphics. The benefits are that their marketing is more broadly spread. It's easy to use. The outcomes is that their pipeline fills up. They get more customers. They're having more profit. But the transformation is that they become the successful business owner they dreamed of, right? Mm -hmm. They go from struggling to get customers to being able to bring in customers whenever they want because they have this persuasive tool that makes a big difference in their business. So basically, the transformation is that big promise. That's, that's the, uh, the thing that you um, want to draw people in with because that's the big promise. That's what's going to make them pay attention. I can help you become X. However, too many people who understand that transformation is a powerful motivator don't take the time to build the rest of the ladder underneath of it. So they just run around saying, I'm going to make your life better than ever, blah, 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 in the next two weeks. But then they don't, right? The, the result doesn't come because they haven't built the features and benefits and outcomes that actually cause that. Do you know what I'm saying? So basically, if you just run around saying, I'm going to transform your life in the next two weeks, you sound like a snake oil salesman to customers because they've heard that a lot from people who can't deliver it at all. That's why building the whole ladder is so important. And next session, we'll be able to talk about how you can put all four rungs in order so that your marketing not only captures someone's attention with this big promise, but also backs that promise up with more information so that it's actually credible and they actually believe you. That's great. Do you mind if I jump in? Go ahead. And so that's this. So where this is... Um... I'm going to back up, go back to Mark's macro, right? So here we are. We're in the 2022 um, Tech Corner video challenge. And it was four parts. Number one was this champions challenge. And I know there's some new people um, to H7 or at least to um, Tech Corner here. And so champions is a big thing in H7. And it's, it's a mentality that um, we're, we're champions for other people in the network, right? And we, and we help learn the value they bring we're good at understanding with the other people in the network and then we're also good at putting those two people who need each other together right it could be personal it could be professional it could be any any of the reasons right and so the champion challenge is a simple shout out video 60 seconds saying like who's who's been great for you in h7 right um part two the last three parts are all together on this on this um, ladder of persuasion. And again, it's beyond the video challenges. It's just a great fundamental way to gather your thoughts, craft your messaging so, so it resonates. And Anna brings this very eloquently. And there's four parts to it. We split it um, in two. Last week, we did the features and the benefits because they kind of bundled together. And I, I even learned through doing mine not to do so many, like I tried to do like, you know, four or five and then four or five benefits. I'm like, I think 
I'm confusing myself. So I'm going to par mine down to maybe just a couple of my biggest or best ones, which I now have clarity from doing that. Um, and then in this time is, um, is the outcome and the transformation. So taking those and playing, particularly for me, like those two things, right? Or how those two add to the bigger. And that's a discrete video. Again, the homework is going to be a 60 second video covering uh, the outcomes and the transformation of your product, your service, and, and how it makes that person or that company better for utilizing what you give. Now, the last week is putting it all together. And it's not just like put the first video with the second video. It's like rethink it, recraft it. Hopefully it, it's clear in, in your mind or you can say it better. Does that, does that make sense, Anna? Is everybody tracking this? Yeah. Does this, does this, um, I see some nods. I mean, so you guys, you guys like this? Have you heard a version of this before? Does it, are you doing something like it in the world? Ian, go ahead. Uh, sorry, just to quickly, I put the link in the chat for the rules and everything about this challenge. Oh, good. Yeah, the H7 champions. Thank you. Um, second, so the video that, one of the videos that Mark was mentioning with Simon Sinek and, and the why, watching that is relevant to what all this is about. Same, it's the mm -hmm. same concept. If, if it's, whether it's branding for a company or just personal, your personal why, why you do things, it's the same uh, process and, and pattern it is it's it's pretty it's pretty inspirational it's i think it's one of the top five or ten ted talks of all time Absolutely. i've watched it many times and it helps you get you and this happens for me it's like i'm kind of dual brain and i can get stuck on my analytical side but widening up like why you do it right like why do i because my core thing is like i'd love to help people like i've been teaching people since i was a tutor in the cafeteria in fifth grade you know i just it's <laughs> part of you know, helping people grow, right? So the other thing though is you want to you want to be able to start with what you do and why you do it and all of that, but you really want to connect that to what matters most to your audience. And that's kind of why you go up this ladder is you want to get not just what you're doing and why you're doing it and your passion for it, but also connect it to what benefits, what outcomes, what transformation your audience gets from it. Because I've, you know, seen way too many websites that are really just, you know, hey, you know, we're the top rated this and we won an award and we're this and we're that. And when you write, you know, when you hire us, we're going to send the best guys and they're going to do these things. Like, you haven't said anything about what the customer is getting out of this. Yeah. And so it's really important to connect what you do with what your customer cares about. Mm -hmm. And that's a lot of what this ladder is, is it's taking what you provide and it's turning it into what's in it for me. It's turning it into what are the benefits? What are the outcomes? Who do I become because I'm working with you? Mm -hmm. And um, as you make the video, you know, Greg really brought this up. You're going to get some clarity on what are your features and benefits? You can write them on paper, but once you start trying to explain them, it kind of takes on another level. And so then you might understand, okay, this is too many to fit. I need to par it down. And that can help you not just in the video, but in all of your marketing, because then you start to understand what features that I have matter the most to my customers. What can I focus on? What can I really highlight when I only have three points or when I'm in an H7 meeting and they say, give me three words, those kind of things. It allows you to focus all of your marketing on your best features, your best benefits, your best outcomes, and your best transformation. Yeah, I like it. Does it? Even, I, so this is we've got a small room today. I mean, we could absolutely. Oh, I see him. OK, but you and anybody else, if you have particular you know, thoughts or examples of what you have, if you want to bounce this off us, you know, some of your things, Ian. I missed the last two weeks and I can't remember what the first week was. And my guess is this is because and I'm, not, I'm I'm bringing it this way. Maybe I'm talking about it wrong, but. The two things that motivate people is pain and pleasure. We want to avoid the pain or we want to get to that pleasure or that destination. That's the result that you're talking about. Did we talk about the pain side or the problem side before? 
Um, we, that's part of the benefits. The first week was the champion video. The second week was the beginning of the ladder, which was the features and benefits. And so your benefits can be either pain or pleasure and your outcomes can either be pain or pleasure, right? So your benefits can be, you know, you avoid the headache of having to do X, Y, Z, or you don't have to hire X, Y, Z done, or, you know, you save money on this, you save time, whatever it is. So avoiding pain, getting pleasure is all part of the benefits and part of the outcomes. And then the transformation is more about who do they become? You know, they want to, bec they started a business or they, whatever it is they're doing in their life that you're helping with, they do it for a reason. And so it's almost understanding their why, going back to Simon Sinek, when you understand your customers why, then you can understand what that transformation is that they're really looking for. And then you can tie what you offer into that transformation so that they understand that you're helping them fulfill their why. So. Any other questions or thoughts or anything? Don't be shy, y'all. We're friends here. <laughs> well, it's interesting when you get into this because um, in much of the work that I do, you know, for people gaining clarity and confidence and whatnot, it's not really tangible, right? And so it, it's more of an emotional transformation, but that does play out into what they're able to then, you know, be successful at. And that's different for each person. So do you have any suggestion for that? Well, um, basically I, I would... <laughs> If I were looking at it, I would either figure out like of your customers, what are the core three pain points they come in with? Like, is it almost all confidence? If it is, then that can be your transformation. Mm -hmm. Is it almost all relational where they want to have better relationships? That can be your big transformation. Your transformation can have some commas in it. Like you could say, you know, mm -hmm. have great relationships and go, you know, enter every room with confidence. That can be a transformation, even though it's two things. Right. Okay. Those are some ideas I have. Go ahead, Greg. Well, you took mine. Confidence was like for the item of the obvious <laughs> one that I think, and I I know a little bit of Catherine stuff. I've I, we've had a one on one. I love her site. I've I've got a, a peek at the Umi Umi, and I'm so happy to see this thing coming out. I will uh, follow and and support you on, you. on LinkedIn and, and wherever else. Thank you, Catherine. If if I can suggest then. Uh, doing a survey, whether it's on Facebook, to find out what their, if it's confidence, whatever that is, like you might have 10 questions or whatever, but you need to find out what what that issue is, that, that confidence piece, and then what it's stopping them from doing. Because it's what that's, they're not doing is what you want to, that's the emotional part, right? Mm -hmm. And so you need that to tie and ground them to you. Well, that's a good idea to do a survey, yeah. For for most people, it, it's an avoidance, right? It's just they don't know how to deal with it, and so they don't. And then it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger, right? <laughs> I mean. One of the things you can do too is, I love the idea of a survey. If that if you have access to that, or you can look at reviews of books that teach similar concepts to what you teach. And the reason that's important is, it'll not only get you some of those you know, oh, this helped me do X. And then that you can find out that was their goal. But it gives you the language around it. Like, right. how do they describe confidence? Maybe they don't use that word. Maybe they say, uh, you know, I'm less nervous asking for a raise. Or maybe they say something else that's not that particular word. Right. I'm a wordsmith, so words matter a lot to me. But like, I think a lot about making sure I describe pain, pleasure, transformation, in the words my customers use for those things. Right. Because if I'm using other lingo, if I'm using company jargon, if I'm using some kind of self-help lingo, they're not going to be there. Right. They're not going to Google that. They're not going to think about that. They're not going to connect with that. Mm -hmm. As a quick example, since we're running, getting down to the last few minutes here, but I was working with someone once who was trying to help um, single mothers connect with self-care, right? Mm -hmm. They, none of them used the words self-care to describe what they wanted. So we had to change her marketing to talk about what they wanted, which they called me time. 
Mm -hmm. And so it was just, it was a complete, the same idea, but it just different lingo. And you can connect so much better with your, com with your customer when you know what words they're using to describe the benefits and those things you're looking for. Mm -hmm. No, that's a great idea about the book reviews. I hadn't thought of that. Thank you. Uh, that's a tip. Um, I, I rewrote down. That's actually something we teach. Reputation is one of our core four in the mapping your marketing because it's undeniable. And so we teach people, you know, uh, read read your competitors' reviews, see what people like, see what benefit they got. You know, like go model the best people. Like on SEO, go find out who has the best SEO. What are they doing? Who's getting results for their customers, and how do they express it? This is really neat because some of this um, this transformation stuff they tell you like before I met Bill, you know, I was X and now I'm Y. Oh well, there's my customer, my target customer, saying what their transformation was. Mm -hmm. the, the other the other tie to that, Greg, is when you're looking at the reviews, whether it's Google or on Facebook or or LinkedIn or who for everybody take the negatives that they didn't do. And that's where you can find out a bunch of other information for FAQs and a bunch of more details that you can use elsewhere as well. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Like better. if, if no, I'm sorry. No, you I was going to say, like, if you find negatives, if you find, oh, this didn't X, this didn't Y, those are things you can make sure to either build in or highlight uh, that you have. That, that I have, right. I'm very open with sharing with people about what research I use, you know, with Joe Dispenza and Bruce Lipton, because I think it's important, right, to to share that information. Um, but it hadn't occurred to me to be going beyond that to look at more book reviews. So thank you. These are some nuggets. Um, we're getting close. I'm going to talk for a little bit. Anna's going to fire up the wheel. One of the benefits of having her and joining the room today is um, the blessing and the gift of getting some one-on-one -on -one time with her. Mm -hmm. And I would just wanted to say thank you all. And for Ian and others, what we're doing these days, which we didn't always do in our 91 weeks, is we're good at hosting the rooms. Especially me, I've been on a good roll, especially for this challenge. So you can already see last week's um, content up on the YouTube channel, right? And then you'll, I'll do this one here before the end of the week, right? And not only that, I've, I make chapters. So it's like chapter one is the beginning. Chapter two is the review. Chapter three is where we start talking about this part, right? I might even put like chapter four tip, you know, awesome tip for the week. <laughs> Go read reviews. I love it when you do that because it tells people what to expect as they go through the video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, can I go ahead and do the wheel? Yeah, we are clicking down. Okay. So there are four of you. What you are able to win is a 30 minute free session with me to work on your um, uh, transformation and outcomes for your product or service. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and spin the wheel. Um, if I can share my screen here, which it looks like I can. All right. Can everyone see the wheel? Yep. All right. And we're going. Ian. <laughs> All right, guys. So Ian, you have won a free 30 minute session with me to discuss your uh, outcomes and transformation for your product or service in your business. Does that sound like a good plan? You didn't answer. That's all right. All right. Oh, hardly. That sounded like a yes. Good. Yeah. You should take, you should take it. <laughs> so that's 30 seconds. Um, Robert. Here's, Ian, I'm going to shoot you my uh, link for my Thanks for uh, joining meeting. today. Please come back. And, so well, you guys got some value. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down yeah. if you didn't. Uh -huh. okay. Next time we'll talk about how to put it in order, how to, how to set it up so that it, it works together to make a persuasive message. Mm -hmm. All right. We're getting our count. Now we're going to be thrown back to the big room. You're going to get prompted for your takeaway and your business application.